if I can ask you then to turn over the page. Oh, maybe just it's just 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 before that. Um, the entry below the, the date, 24 February 2015. Yeah. Uh, even my instruction, my instruction from our seniors, branch commanders, and general, we call them five. As I've already explained that some instructions from seniors, um, like your branch commanders, these are generalized here in this column. Yeah, I was born in 2017. November 10. We have an instruction here for our item 3.1. What is it? Let me item lower the manje. I want to see what state has no more faith in Kamil Rajesh. This is a matter of what state. Aha, I'm the foot I will destroy. So I'm the faith to the state and to be destroyed. And then on the 10th of November 2017. There was an instruction, as indicated earlier, that um, the superiors would be giving uh, the instructions pertaining these exhibits. 3.1 here, it says that uh, these items were to be forfeited to the state or be uh, confiscated by the, uh, by the state uh, for, for destruction and or that they be destroyed. So who gave that instruction? The instruction was given by the French commander or Lieutenant Colonel Matahale. Uh, o branch commander, Lieutenant Colonel Matakale Guyanage, O Apanage, and Aleo instruction, which is Leon, and you Fagazi, my last one, when you destroy. Captain, can you then explain the procedure? What is the procedure once that instruction has been given, step by step? If we if we take the manje thirteen, we take the manje. We take the instruction in the file and we take it to the police or the exhibit. Then we take the exhibit manje. It is for fair to the state and to be destroyed. Then we take the process in the land and law. I will fail into it at the end. We forget to speak. Now, once we have received that instruction that a particular item should be forfeited to the state and be destroyed, you do not just take it and uh, discard it into um, the bin or the waste bin. Especially the man, the man is straightforward, but the man is Particularly if one has to make mention of the fact that we're talking about a firearm. And the live ammunition. And the live uh, ammunition, named clam, okay? Named clam, so like Une processi ge elande loa yo una ma forms opune uta kuali swe. There is a process that needs to be followed. There are forms that needs to be completed. What are those forms? Am I pila ma form? Une form five two two P. There is a forfeiture of the firearm. There is a form called a five two two B for the forfeiture of the firearm. And there is a form which is five two one F. Which is a lost, found, and stolen property. There's another form called 521F, uh, lost and found uh, item or property. And then uh, also a ballistic report must be attached there. Gantige ne ballistic report nayo, guamelege itunye guzo lezo zinto. Nayo amakopi lawe SAP 30 de ayafunega. And these SAP 13 copies are also uh, needed as well. We were done a packing note where a packing note is, is like a list of schedules. This is as I'm saying. I'm having to be using the other result of my manifest. That is no. it is a packing note. There's also uh, the packing note. Um, other people would call them a, a manifest, but we call it a pecking note. That forms part of that as well. And the uh, Lauma pecking note, if we have uh, five copies. Those uh, pecking notes should be five copies um, of the pecking notes. You just explain what is a pecking note. A pecking note, a pecking note, into a create a language to department. Now, the pecking note is what was created in our own department. It's like a schedule. Injenge schedule or the list. Jo bangi luti. Injenge no mau hamba ne flight bo na mau take ni ti ba ba nkandeli manifest. Ugo ti oba na ganda ba kona la aeroplane ni mtual. The same as the schedule or the list. 
The example I can use is that of a, a, a flight. They, they call it a, a manifest. That who are these people that are boarding onto that flight and their luggage and the likes. So now you're going to pick you no know, delays of the issue. <coughs> Serial number is serial number is, is of which SAP 13 number no, layer, our, six, layer 86. Our packing note will then uh, uh, contain or um, have on it the serial number no, 86 or the SAP, the SAP 13. 13. And then it will be a type of a firearm. And as well as the type of uh, firearm, Shabaluni Luis Pamu. Calibra. And the calibre as well. How many live rounds are uh, with that particular firearm? In terms of magazine, and the magazine, and the magazine as well. And then the column the daily show your image the reason for feature. If we would is permissive exhibit, we are parallel to exhibit stroke. If we would is permissive voluntary surrender, we are parallel to full. So when we would is permissive destroy, is it is permissive to exhibit or is permissive to voluntary? And, and, and that last column would give the reason um, pertaining that particular exhibit. For an example, if this is the firearm um, that is now um, voluntarily uh, surrendered to the state, you will um, put there, it is voluntarily surrendered to the state. If it was a firearm that was an exhibit, you will also uh, indicate in that column that this uh, firearm that needs to be destroyed or forfeited to the state was an exhibit. And then if we have a figure of Utibuti in a forfeiture form, not a 522A forfeiture form, it's, been, it's like a list. Now, now uh, the other form that needs to be filled, it is um, the forfeiture form, no. not the 522B. B. But the forfeiture in which there are lists the, that you need to. Leo, the seven, the good serial number, a case number, There, there is a serial number that has to be recorded, the case number of that particular firearm. And then the SAP 13. And as well as the SAP 13. And the name of a person, law niggas instruction, and then the state law niggas record instruction. And the name of the person that is given that uh, instruction, as well as the date um, um, in which the instructions were given. Um, basically, uh, we, we are we are part of a law uh, instruction can jalo no sugu ani gezwa instruction ngai. Ani geza ngai. Ah, organi ani geza ngai instruction. And then basically, we are going to eliminate a four, eliminate a three, eliminate which is a breakdown of the firearms. So la pole man ye vuti kubele mu vuti les pa mu lesi. Uh, for a case number so and as a committee IP crime. Now there is also a provision where this particular uh, firearm, um, the entry pertaining that firearm must also uh, be made. When was it brought in? Yes, when and, was it, and what charge? And what charge? charge? And what charge is associated or is uh, attributed to that firearm? Lama for Mukti Nengzo Washon Kiel and with the ends or label Lama Jalawa or Palilera, my lord, is that he packing note in a scheduled list in a breakdown in a forfeiture form, a forfeiture list in a form. Nezos and Dolezos is a Tunyela, a provincial. I guess this is a short one. Um, all those items uh, or the forms that we have spo uh, spoken about, the packing note, the, the forfeiture form, not forfeiture uh, uh, list, or the forfeiture list, the breakdown, the list. breakdown list, and uh, the breakdown list, breakdown, yes, packing note, breakdown, forfeiture, and a break, and a breakdown note. So there must be four. There must be four of them. Yes. There must be four. It is the packing note, yes, the forfeiture, yes, uh, the um, for, uh, um, the break, uh, the break, the breakdown, yes. the breakdown form. Yes. To uh, manage the packing note. The, we started with the packing note. Okay. There must be four of them. There must be four. Hey, hey, sure, okay. Okay. Hey. <laughs> the packing note. As as they are being itemized, my lord, packing note. Is the schedule. Uh -huh. Schedule. And a forfeiture list. 
four feature list and the breakdown and the breakdown yes the schedule is just mentioning you just mentioned the fire arms that all of them as they are now on the schedule you only mention uh, the firearms as they are but you don't all mention no key instruction or what you just say sp 30 number so and so firearm what is it the likes of give instruction you don't uh, record that one you just say sap 13 these item of the firearms and then you just record them there. all those for a long lama form now so to nearly provincial head all those um, forms are sent to us uh, by the provincial head and maybe what to mail a little more form you want you to take away process and maybe what to mail a sazo a compiler work to alice work to alice work to alice work to alice work to if you've got 100 firearms one of my firearms can never be now allowed to form each 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 and when they send such forms all the firearms needs um, to be attached to each form and each form has to be filled um, and, and, and a compilation needs to be made. Let's say, for an example, there's 100 firearms that uh, we need to work on. Each and every firearm um, needs to receive such attachments in terms of those forms and properly filled. And then you send them per NF. Mm. On those days, remember this is 2015, long time, 2017. Mm -hmm. And you must take pictures of that firearm. You must take six pictures of the firearm. Was that a range of new tombs in Dunai's mansion? Oh, finally, we took a new tomb. I get paid well for it. Is Pam Nasin? We took a new tomb. Is O six? My Pam, we see me range. We took a one on the left side, one on the right side, one on top, one underneath, one at the back where the the handle is, and one on the barrel. That makes six. Now that is how six is made up. Um, you have to take from all dimensions of the firearm on the left, on the right, on the top, and uh, on, on uh, beneath the firearm, and as well as the front and the back. So the total of those uh, uh, angles are six. So, Malus got his promise, he has destroyed our Pete, if I leave, and I'm a paper man for one firearm. Now, at the time that you are going to be destroying, you're taking the firearm for destruction you will be in possession of a file, a bunch of a file there with you for just one firearm. And I was at the Kishwale instruction in 2017. I was at the station in Cleveland. Then the provincial army is set to inspect central. I was at the district where I was at the district where I was at the district where I was at. Now at the time that I was in Cleveland, and Obanubese um, Johannesburg Central. It's, a, it's my provincial head. Uh, the, my provincial head was at the uh, is provincial, it right now is at the Johannesburg, Johannesburg yeah. Central. At the National Logistics where the destruction is in the corner. Now where uh, the destruction would they, uh, take place is in Pretoria at the logistic. That is the national office where. So, so instruction takes place. So that thing eleven to lay one year, two years, three years before so before Now when they issue out the instruction that firearms should be brought for destruction, um, it comes with um, or that implies that um, that instruction might take two, three years to be carried out. Let's say, for an example, it is a firearm that is in my list of firearms. It will take me about two to three years to can comply with that instruction for a particular firearm to get to be uh, destroyed. <laughs> The provincial as this are a logistic, logistic as as Perusa, Yaba Hapi, or Utica, or Palisa, Onkin de Funegai. Il is Catia, still Masazo Kipeabo, it dating of Abu, Cleveland, the station, some six sort, the Sukuluman, a station, one hundred and forty here in Houten. Nalilulang, I've made the Negus or Mate to Utinena, this West or Cluster, these five stations, Nelangelu Utinena, Nalilangelu. There are various stations that need. Three, four months again. 
there are various stations that need to comply with the instruction. It is not only Cleveland that is given just that one date. They, you will find that they are, they are categorized or they are grouped that on such and such a date there should be um, such and such stations that are bringing the, the, the firearm. That is, um, if um, the, the provincial office um, has already um, approved um, your, your, your processes and as well as uh, the fact that it needs to be taken to the national logistics. Now, um, that needs to be taken into consideration that there are various uh, stations that has to comply with that particular instructions. Then we're talking about another four months, about, about four months um, that um, we will be dealing with in terms of the final uh, compliance with that instruction. You, say, you said how many stations are there in Gauteng? Uh, I'm starting to be corrected. There are 140 Gauteng. If I'm not mistaken, or based on my knowledge, there's 140. One four zero. There's 140 stations in Gauteng. Yes. 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 In 2019, about these firearms that are in in my list, that at any given time, if the instruction is issued, then I should at least be in uh, uh, in the position to can be able to comply. If I can ask you to turn to Annex A of uh, Exhibit X2, can you just identify the document? I have written there, as it is, uh, it is appearing on this annexure A, firearms to be destroyed. And among this page starts only from 11 up to Mama Pega, who sequence number 19. Nice SAP 13 number there, which is 86 stroke 2015, case number 9602 2015, it's a CZ 9mm. Then there was nothing here at the time because I didn't have a serial number of a firearm by the time. As it appears on the entry there, number 19, it says eight, SAP uh, 13 number 86 slash 2015, and the cast number is 9602-2015 and the name is uh, CZ 9mm um, and under the uh, serial number column it was blank blank. So I'm searching long is a la go to why man just said by the range in this category is from the suzop was a suga be woman she saw a woman as is a lie head office so often and is up and I would list from a second upon the way we go 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 okay and the statue in national head office. Now, when um, there was a need for this firearm to be booked out to the national office, I had to uh, therefore uh, generalize in that uh, column um, that the firearm is no longer under my care. Um, 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 we are a bit lost here with, with firearm we're talking about because we are able to see in column number one. There are numbers there up to 30. Now we don't know which hey, number. I said uh, the list you've got here. It's, it's, oh, yes, sorry. That uh, call is an hour, but in writing, I'm like, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's number nine. I would like to apologize on that note. Number my, nine, sir. My handwriting was not proper. 19. It was not uh, uh, legible there. It is actually number nine, not number 19. Number nine. Sorry, that number nine relates to what? A firearm. Yes, he is the amen as in the lion. I would misprepare the days of Funega, the Pamu, 084 destroyed. So it's item number nine.
It does relate with the firearm a lot. This is the list that I generated myself so that um, it, it must be readily available in case there's an instruction um, that um, some of the items that I have in my list should be uh, sent. Yeah. To which firearm does it relate to? Um, this firearm I'm talking about here is the uh, Pega, the next item, the SAP 13 number. And I mentioned number 13 number. Number 9 law, the SAP 13 number, I call it 86 stroke 2015. Now, if you look in that column, um, if you look in that column, um, that is SAP 13 number, it says 86 slash 2015. And then, pega the next block there, there is a case number where you can find a case number. And then also the next block would be our column, would be a case number, which I need to put in the case number. Eh? And then the next column also, Ilapenga Parakonama Kama Ispa Muganyane Calibra. And the next column, that is where I wrote the name of the firearm and as well as the calibre of that firearm. Okay, the entry which is there now, it happened after I was when the firearm is yes. put. So we will play and kill because this palm is missing a serial number. Now, um, the entry there uh, in the last column, it was actually a blank. Nothing was written there because there was no serial number of that um, firearm. Yes. The cast number, can you just put that on record as well as the make of the firearm? The case, now, the case number, it's 96 of 2, 2015. The cast number of this particular firearm uh, it's uh, 96-02-2015. And the firearm is station? Cleveland. It is uh, the Cleveland, Cleveland station. Cleveland SAPS. is station, is station, say Cleveland. And it's a CZ, which is a 9mm. It is uh, a CZ 9mm, Sean Jaloge, Shobolus Pamo, CZ 9mm. And if you turn to the third page of Exhibit X3, there under the last column, can you just read that entry? And I was also the entry line. Layer 2020 of 7, A20. Is, no. is it that one? No, the, the, the very last column. On last, three, last, last yes. column. Page three. Yes. Yes. Okay. The last column now. Magwenzi wa ilokuza ni Nangiti every three months. Abantu la babang pete baye zavazo wenza inspection. Now every three months, my um, seniors would usually come and do the inspection. Just to check as to whether there isn't any firearm that uh, got lost. So, but you may figure entry layer this palm or this way this is a bit And then when they got here, they um, then checked the 80, uh, 86 and then about SAP 1386. from the beginning. So I'm going to this one to assist our colleagues. Yes. So, examination. So, la namanya, that's why this pump saying echo la, we store them some. 
So, Bazevet, no, you must write here yeah, that to head office. Now, that column says to head office. It was at the time that they came and they inquired about the whereabouts of this uh, firearm with that SAP 13 number. That is when I explained to them that um, this firearm was booked out by um, Kennel, it, he was Kennel then, uh, Kennel Mangena. Um, it was booked for FSL ballistics. And then they indicated to me that um, then there should be an entry that is made on that column uh, to indicate that um, the fire, uh, the firearm has gone to the head office. It is how it came about that two head office has been written there in that column. If I can then ask you to turn again on that very same page, column five. Just the entries there and the dates. It's 2020 of 07 on the 20th. Uh, that uh, it dated July 2020. The entry of Paliwela is item 3.1 book to FSL ballistics for further examination booked by service number so and so 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 is Lieutenant Colonel C. Mangena with the cell number. Gantige beso gya pala la poge lento e ya pukwa uguti izo ya kuna lapana e FSL na manyamazu e guma palistik uguzege iyo tlonsi iswa uganye iyo vivinywa gantige ya pukwa wanya kishwa ngu ya lona u mangena u lieutenant kennel mangena wa sejusu wage ne nambolo ya kaya sedin saa ya sedin sedin zini Yom Sebenzi, Gantige, Ne Nambolo, Yoma Kalekuki, Nwak. If I can ask you to turn over the page, in the, in the same column, what is the entry there? And then, in 2020, Ngao Futi Uchulailo, in 27, EITM 3.1 to 3.33, booked back by Lieutenant Colonel, Colonel Mangena. So on 827, the resolution by ballistics, we saw we have to um, was a wise sign in the Japan lab. He entered in the lab. I don't know how to do it. Lieutenant Colonel Mangena is a tata, a boy is a peck of men. What's a hamba yamba no kennel by then? Kennel be en kininda or a ticket. I have foot in a market and you pull a peck. Yeah, now I send the entry for 2020 or 2020 items 3.1 to 3.2. Colonel Kini, the head office, book out uh, for case number for slow rust 636 10 2014. Was a start again, we sell up head office. On that very day, the 27th of July 2020, the same items that were mentioned above, which is um, items 3.1 to 3.3. Um, were booked out by um, Colonel uh, Geninda uh, from the hof uh, head office. Gantige Ushonjaluti Ngalo and Lolo Sugu, who Geninda wears a foot here. Jane Gobalis is Pamu, Sia Leto again and Tlange. Spend the foot we ask here, Payenage, who Colonel Geninda was a head office. He, and the cast number there. Uh, it says Fos Lores 636 slash 10 slash 2014. Baba Yo Ikas number Yakonage, um, Yalelo, Yaleo KCA, Bandaganya Lissis Pam. It is Cas, um, Fos Lores 3636 slash 10 slash 2014. And from whom did he receive this firearm? From me. He received the firearm from me. Who should he was to lagi me na lesos pam? 
Now, Captain, in brief, why was this firearm not destroyed as it was meant to be? As I've already explained that, one can keep the firearm two, three years because of the paperwork that still needs to be done. A lot, a lot of paperwork needs to be done before the firearm is destroyed. You, you mentioned that by the time a firearm is destroyed, uh, you'll be having a, a large foul. Yes, it will be open. Yes, it will be so. so yes. when, when is this foul opened? As as I have already said that I uh, created my own list uh, to be readily available in case of a day in which they will be saying that bring uh, the firearms uh, for destructions then I will be in the position to can comply. That is where the provincial office will then be sending us all the documents that needs to be filled in pertaining that firearm. I was then waiting for such an instruction to arrive. And as I've also indicated that um, it takes time before such instruction comes. Then over here, if you get like a list, I've got three months or what, what. My Lord, you know, I'm going to call out the police and flash. If that came within the space of three months, I would not. After instruction. After instruction. I would not be finding myself in this uh, witness box. Because this bomb, this will be so bad that I stop a whole vote. That um, would have been an ash already with that uh, firearm. Manje, so when I would take a walk on the way to the next line, the city lay, I would slim the provincial list channel now. Preparing a letter from my paper, we can do to complete. He lap or the file of the local with seven seconds. Must go up my call up instruction. Now, uh, once that call up instructions have been issued, this is when you start with um, that uh, filing, compilation of documents. And, uh, now, um, the recordings that I have pertaining that particular firearm says that um, the serial number has been filed off even when it came back the firearm was still um, not having any serial number with it. Now, it means there is a special procedure that needs to be uh, complied with or followed as far as the firearm that does not have the serial number with it. And what is that procedure? It's in the procedure. In National Head Office, you a data as a file away. Now, the, the national office is the office um, that is responsible for such firearms as those ones whose uh, serial number has been filed off or no. that the ballistics numbers. Now, um, the, once the call-up has been issued, the, it, it will be, uh, there will be instructions that, that are particular as to where the firearms should be taken to. All of those firearms that do not have the serial number, they will be taken there. 
And once they are taken into that particular uh, uh, office, then they're going to punch in the serial number. And WR number, uh -huh. weapon register number. And they will be given the uh, weapon register number or the WR number. <laughs> even though others, even though others are also saying that it's a ZA number. Now, uh, because there should be a record pertaining that firearm that once existed. And to add on that, would why any reason for to would why this bomb this was in a Kedwanga out same time in Lugusan? Sing and Zoni? Sing and Zoni? Instruction in the Zoni at the same time would still destroy. Any reason you would this bomb when a massive claim the money or would a police at destroy bombs are banned or would a boy come after six years at us of this bomb side? Now, another reason why the firearm or that um, the compliance with the destruction of the firearm was not done immediately, it, it has to do or it relates with the civil uh, claims or civil suits. Um, the police will be receiving the firearms instruction, would be issued out to say that um, the firearm should be destroyed and six months or uh, after some time a person comes and he says that he wants his uh, firearm. So as long as those in Dogu Mele would say is the most avoid of the day. No. That's why I think I'm charging this bomb. No means I can't come out today. I'll charge in Texas as well as destroy this bomb. Now, those, those are the uh, factors or dynamics that we need to consider. Even if you can receive an instruction today for the destruction of the firearm, you don't just up and go and destroy the firearm. You consider all those uh, factors. So we didn't take the normal should adjournment. Uh, uh, are we going to take it, be long? or are we proceeding? I, yeah. No, tell me, are you still going to be long? No, no, my lord. I think there's just one or two aspects. <coughs> yeah, let's fin finalize the evidence of this gentleman, yes. so that we can give Mr. Mnisi all those documents. He can even take them from this time, and we start tomorrow, so, so that he must have time to peruse them. Is that okay? As a court pleases. Now, you mentioned that in the file that you compile, there must also be a ballistic report. It is indeed so. The file that I compile must have the. Uh, um, Sorry, the ballistic report, my lord. I was trying to interpret to the accused persons. What you get a file ends with a ballistic report. Now, that process began in this, in respect of this firearm, of, of compiling a file. Uh, I have he, he, he the case of 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 the the case number of the case of in being a being a ballistic report. The ballistic report was not in the file. But the docket, docket on a BC file was storeroom. The docket had already been filed in the storeroom, though. <laughs> Is there an indication of when it was filed? If I remember well, it was filed on the 27th of July, 2017. So what, what is the date that you've just mentioned? Well, what is the significance of the date? What the happened on the date? The date 27th of July, 2017. The 
this this is uh, the date in which uh, this case uh, 9602 2015 was finalized in court now what, what do you, what do you have been the process after it was finalized in the process what are you thinking about finalized Okay. Look, I'm not a detective, but I will just give an explanation based on my knowledge. Yes. If we case is a court is a court survey finalizing. Once the case has been finalized at court. No moment has been sentenced or has been acquitted. Whether the person has been uh, sentenced or uh, acquitted. The docket must go to Yahambi docket, I owe it at the docket, I owe branch commander. Why? Now, O will subsequent uh, to those proceedings take that docket to his uh, branch commander. He goes to the docket in an exhibit. Because that docket has got an exhibit with it. And the exhibit in over the moon to say, who's arrested to moon to sentence him. The person has already been sentenced. So, when exhibit, and and in the interim, we do have the exhibit pertaining to that case. And the docket they finalize you. So, when they get something, I'll exhibit a call. And the docket has already been finalized. Something needs to be done with this exhibit. Oh, we also have a good branch commander. I can figure explain it. Docket must be a call to what I suspect. The legal case, when to sentence you, when they exhibit. Now the I.O. will then proceed to the branch commander and say that we were at the court, the matter has been finalized, however, here is the exhibit, we do have the exhibit that is still outstanding here. Now, I cannot speak on behalf of the branch commanders. Themselves should uh, peruse the docket. But now, um, they, they should ascertain as to whether all the steps have been taken, all the procedures have been uh, met with or complied with um, since now the docket has now been closed. And uh, the exhibit as well that is attached to that particular docket has there been a, a ballistic report that was compiled or issued? If a ballistic report is or equal, when they give a ballistic report, the party it comes out the SPAM is city filed off. But all the ballistic is fully legal. As long as the etching is able to be able to be able to be able to be then the decision is to be able to be able to the state and destroy. Now, um, let us say that um, the, the firearm has been taken in for uh, um, ballistics and then it comes back. They tried all they could to can try and retrieve the serial number and they could, they could still not retrieve the serial number of that firearm. Um, that firearm should then eventually, or the eventuality of that firearm would be that it should be forfeited to the state and be destroyed. You are not sure what you will say. It okay, yeah, seven. I have a court as a creator in a Palestinian report. Was the work what had was finalized by Ongi Dirk. So it is my figure who French commander the decision. I tell the French commander, you would item 3.1 to up and 3.23. Must be forfeited to the state and be destroyed for descent for destruction. As I have already indicated, that there was no ballistic report that was uh, compiled in this document, uh, in this docket, pertaining uh, this uh, particular item, um, particularly item 3.1 to item uh, 3.3. The instruction that then came from the branch commander yes. was that this particular items or this item must be forfeited to the state and be destroyed. It's fine. The branch commander will come and explain it. So, if you say that the legal father has an instruction, then I owe a docket to the station and get my as we file a SAP 6 door. SAP 6 now, once um, that um, uh, uh, process has been uh, successfully undertaken, the docket should be taken by the I.O. from the branch commander and it be filed 
in the SAP 6 store for archiving. Part of, part of my duties, when I am busy executing uh, my duties, I have to peruse uh, registers such as these ones. To, um, to ascertain or hand over or send back to the station. To ascertain whether there are still some entries that that still has some items that needs uh, or that have some instructions for either uh, destroying or um, the item be sent to a particular office for destruction. If you certain place. This is where, personally, I'll be um, dealing with, um, or, or that I will be compiling my own, my own list of these items. I will be dealing with each item and then, um, you know, uh, packing them or storing them in a particular place so that those items may be readily available in case there's instructions or the call-up instructions that are made. Yeah, well, we well, in particular place, and you should just put store room. As package is not long enough, if I'm not long enough, this is in which case I still need store room. Yes, same store room, same mm. safe place. Thousand yeah. years back, and just on a set zone. Yeah. Let, 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 let me let me say that in 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 particular that. Um, they are put inside of the of, of, of the of the storeroom, um, together with um, the, the 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 firearms. Even though I'm going to separate them from from other items that are stored in there. Yes, um, Colonel Bayat will be testifying in respect of uh, Annexure B. But if you can have a look at uh, Annexure B. What is the instruction that was given in respect of the disposal of the exhibit in this case? The, the, the first page or the second page? The uh, last one. The, 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 the last page. last page. The last page. Because they look clean, huh? Yeah, disposal of exhibits. Uh, Captain Bayard put instruction that, that forward items 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 3 for destruction. That is Colonel Bayard. Granting a Colonel Apo, Labitoire, Magula, one organizing lanes of Fagazama exhibits, O Padulegana, O Captain Bayard, O Colonel Bayard, O got a Magule to him, listen to organization as your last order. Uh, item 3.1, 3.2, and 3.3. And the date? Uh, the date is 2017, 08, 18. And the date is 18, is August 2017. Yes, uh, and the last entry there? The last, last one. Yes. Then uh, on 2017, 08, 24, he has got a document now, warrant officer Libipi on the 24th of August 2017 um, um, enlightened that the document has now uh, returned and therefore uh, this document has to go and be uh, and the exhibits should be uh, filed. Will no. be filed. You've earlier referred to an entry by Lieutenant Colonel uh, Makala which appears on page 2 of exhibit X2 with an entry date of 2017, 11 stroke 2010. Yeah, uh, what happened here is when the docket came back on the 24th of August, 
Who warrant yeah. officer Libi for Y7 and the SAP 13? Now, during that time, warrant officer Libi is the one that was working at SAP 13. While while the valet docket would he ever would he exhibit his disposal as per instructions? He closed this docket and said that uh, and considered that there is an exhibit, and I will exp uh, uh, dispose um, procedurally. And then he docket at Tatoya with SAP store. And then the docket was taken into the SAP 13 store. And then me in the Mangzo Tata over okay? In 2019. And when I came to take over in 2019, when I was checking everything, now as I was perusing or checking everything that will fall, you know, within the ambit of my responsibilities. Now, um, as I've already indicated that I would go through the registers and check which exhibits do have some instructions. I wasn't uh, particularly uh, checking the firearms. I was also checking the general exhibits as well. Yes, those are what Lama instructions in Wazuwa implement carried out. Now, um, I needed to make sure that all the instructions that were issued out should be carried out as well. And then, Mang Figa Gulinuatile. I told you to keep the Ukenel and Mataha, and I will instruction in 2017. 11, 10, yeah, 10. And when I get to this one point in particular, I realize that uh, Colonel Matafala has issued an instruction on the 10th of November 2017. The instruction is in what I space, which means that this part I'm still in the safe. Ne? But manjing a little lang a little nai lookuza ni to ket say value everything. But I wuna entry instruction ye. Okay, beg again. Now um there was when when I was busy producing here, I re, I realized that there are the there are instru the, the, the docket has been closed. But I wanna my instructions. Yes. But there are no instructions that have been uh, issued. And my little August. Now, um, when they checked um, pertaining this document, uh, sorry, this docket, they found that the docket has been there or it's been lying around since uh, the 24th of August 2017. But the being However, there was no instruction that was uh, written here uh, in this book. Yes, we took it in the instruction. It's there. No, no um, um, we, mu we must concede to the fact that there is an instruction on the docket. From the branch commander. That is uh, from the branch commander. So, but instruction. However, my book, the register, does not have the instruction. So, totally at docket, we we throw a manager store room, a docket store. Then one has to take um, that uh, docket from the uh, docket store, from the store room. Now, by the EAW branch commander, I am a detective in my station. Now, it should be taken to the um, branch commander of the detectives in my station. Ganyan register. Together with that register. If something like this is that Zomboni is the French commander, the French commander of uh, a unit because I'm a unit of seven, I'm a seven zero station. Who say if I give instruction, but the instruction are you calling what? Now let us say it is myself that is now going to that branch commander. I will say branch commander, um, the uh, other branch commander from the unit which are not working obviously in the station, has already put the instruction on the docket. However, the instruction does not appear on the register or the book. Now, also, the French commander, one, a docket in what? Even um, that branch commander of mine, I will hand him um, the docket and the book. 
and then uzo ya through na the first thing first of all we check i palestine group or to good it in an exhibit he will also peruse uh, the documents that i have given to him the first thing that is going to check is um, what does the ballistic report say pertaining this exhibit? If the ballistic report is corner, it may be in serial number was retrieved, the instruction will be different here. Now, if um, the ballistic report is there and the serial number has been retrieved, then um, the instruction will be different. Why is it different? Is Pamosas Tolagel who is the owner of the firearm? That would be because um, it would have been um, found who is the owner of the firearm. Lesos Pamoge is Negasi Wielo who owner us. Now Melesi destroy. Melesi Wielo or City. Negasi Wielo we owner, not to be destroyed. That firearm must go back to the owner and not to be destroyed. But in particular this one, because it took it in the night Palestine report. So let's come to the challenge with the Asna serial number of Wazio Skabani, the Trike Kennel Matahala, the Kennel Payat. There's a conclusion they want this item firearm must be forfeited to the state and be destroyed. Now, coming to this firearm in particular, because this firearm was there for quite some time, there was no ballistic report, no serial number pertaining to this firearm. Kennel Matahala came to the conclusion that this firearm must then um, be uh, forfeited to the state and be destroyed. Now, uh, these colleagues of mine also follow the same steps. They realize that the docket has been closed, yet there are no uh, instructions within the book or the register here. And then um, that is why um, there's a gap between the dates here. Yes, part with date of Upayatu May Vala. On this 27-08-18, a valley unit in at the forfeit and destroyed. Then OSAP 13 by that time, Ulibipe, as we acknowledge, our TS docket we will go to XZPT, which is the 24th. Now let's get Ben Zagin's daily daily inspection. But realize what the docket is there, it's closed. But the lad is not interested. But that target docket is not registered. What the Kenel Matakala I O Father Ini. Instruction in what in what in a seven instruction at docket of destroys it. The seven instruction here is a bit that in register. So, um, the um, the date there was um, when the docket was closed on the 18th of August 2017 by uh, Kenan Bayard and then um, Lebepe, uh, that is warrant officer Lebepe, signed uh, in receipt of this doc uh, docket that it was a docket that was uh, closed on the 24th of August 2017. While they were busy working on that, um, that docket had to be taken together with the register so that um, uh, to the branch commander at the station, that is Matakala, um, so, so as there should be the instruction that reads uh, that it be forfeited to the state and be destroyed. So you go when you to Amate, it's going as a TIF to channel. That is the reason why it appears as though now the dates are actually um, sequential or um, not in order. Yeah, there is, yeah the, the, there is a gap in between because all these things did not happen on the same day. But if we talk at the investigative station, Sam, and the Yaval, the French commander, corner, corner. Before the 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 I O E O M B Z O Valley talk at the station, who was at me in the office in that instance? In what the thirteen number so and so, no further instruction because they talk at Yaval. Local ones are the very same day. Now, if everything happens within my station. And uh, the I.O. is indicating that the docket has been closed. He is going to come and say that he needs the SAP 13 number. Register. The register. 
and, and, and the number as well. And then um, on that same day, um, the, um, pro, uh, the procedure will be finalized or the document, uh, the docket will be closed accordingly. Yeah, I will notice that the instruction on the docket is the same date as the instruction on the register. That is, uh, as the witness has indicated, which you get, uh, the instruction uh, 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 in the instruction of the register. Then the